In this video, you'll see flying snakes. You'll also see how a snake's venom can prevent a stroke. Lastly, you'll see how snakes can survive for up to two years without food. All you need to do is stay glued to this channel for all the juicy facts. Boa constrictors can reproduce without mating. This will definitely shock you. Unlike humans, some boa constrictors sometimes don't need males to reproduce. They instead use a form of asexual reproduction called parthenogenesis. Parthenogenesis involves the development of an egg into an embryo without fertilization, which happens mostly when a suitable male is not available for mating. The female boa constrictor, instead of wasting her eggs, reproduces clones of herself. In a study by North Carolina State University researchers, a female boa constrictor had offspring through both sexual and asexual reproduction. The baby boas produced asexually were all females and had the same color mutation as their mother. In fact, their chromosomes were different totally from the snakes produced sexually. Boa constrictors are usually found in tropical South America and some islands in the Caribbean. Unlike other snakes, boa constrictors are non-venomous. Some snakes can survive for two years without food. Unlike other animals, snakes can survive without food. For snakes like the ball python and rat snake, living up for two years without eating is an easy peasy feat. They do this by reducing their energy expenditure. Sounds like some cool stuff they got there. One scientific study even suggests that snakes can digest their own hearts when starved for too long. Interestingly, they even grow bigger heads to broaden their prey options during times of famine. According to researcher Marshall McHugh, intense snake hunger may be the reason for the many outrageous snake stories in recent years. After studying 62 snakes without any food source, McHugh then looked at all the various changes in these snakes he was able to come to these conclusions. Through this study, it was revealed that snakes can lower their body metabolism rates by up to 72%. While some scientists know that some snake species survive for up to two years without a meal, no studies have examined the physiological changes that take place when a snake goes for prolonged periods without food. Snakes steal venom from toxic toads. Contrary to what many may think, not all snakes are venomous. In fact, out of 3,400 species of snakes, only 600 species are venomous. And the tiger keelback snake is in a league of its own. This animal is a species of non-poisonous snakes found in Russia and East Asia that depend on their diet to become poisonous. These snakes feed on certain species of toxic toads, collecting their toxins. It then stores the toxins in glands in their neck. When they're met with a threat of danger, these snakes then release the toxins from their neck glands. This type of defense mechanism is called anti-predator adaptation and is commonly seen in animals like frogs. A pregnant tiger keelback snake can even pass these toxins to their young. The toxins protect their young from predators until they're grown and able to hunt on their own. This toxin is pretty potent. If not treated quickly, it can lead to serious ailment. Snake venom helps prevent stroke. While snake venom may be deadly to humans, there could be exceptions. Researchers have been studying snake venom, hoping to develop future treatments for ailments like stroke, heart disease, and even cancer. In 1999, American scientists discovered that the venom of one of Asia's most deadly snakes, the pit viper, has the potential to save the lives of stroke and heart attack victims. It's believed that snake venom contains toxins that target a specific receptor protein on the blood platelets of humans. These toxins can either prevent blood clot or cause clotting to develop. According to researchers, inhabiting specific platelet proteins can prevent irregular blood clot formation and even the spread of cancer. Luckily, researchers were able to extract the snake's venom, filtering out all but one property to create a drug called Encrod. With it, they were able to treat 42% of stroke victims in less than three hours. Encrod is an effective treatment for the most common form of stroke. Though the drug is yet to be formally approved, it's refreshing to know that snakes may be useful to humans for a change. The Black Mamba Bite The Black Mamba is one of the world's most venomous snakes. 
They have a very intense bite that can wreak havoc on their victims. The bite of the black mamba can actually cause a collapse in humans within just 45 minutes. In fact, its venom weakens the body, causing abdominal pain, nausea, and vomiting. Black mamba bites also have been blamed for many human deaths over the years. Though these animals don't make the first attack on humans, they don't hesitate to raise their heads when they feel threatened or cornered. Usually, the black mamba spreads its cobra-like neck flap, then opens its black mouth to hiss. When the threat persists, it strikes its attacker repeatedly, injecting large amounts of cardiotoxin with each strike. An adult black mamba snake has between 12 and 20 drops of venom per fang, and it takes just two drops of this venom to kill a human. Sadly, before anti-venom was widely available, the mortality rate from this snake's bite was nearly 100%. The black mamba is known as the second longest venomous snake after the king cobra and can be found in regions like sub-Saharan Africa. They're also one of the fastest land snakes in the world. Not much is known about the pathology of the trauma of black mamba bites. Decapitated head of a dead snake can bite several hours after death. The decapitated head of a dead snake can still bite even several hours after its death. Interestingly, such bites often contain large amounts of venom, which is insane. This bite reflex can be triggered hours after the snake dies. In 2018, a man was bitten by the decapitated head of a dead snake. Shortly after this Texan killed a rattlesnake in his backyard, the rattlesnake's severed head bit and injected lots of venom into the man, injuring him seriously. Wondering how this is possible? We're about to find out. Snakes are naturally cold-blooded animals, which means they can get heat from external sources, such as sunlight and warm surfaces. They also don't need to maintain their internal body temperature, hence they can do without so much energy. According to a researcher involved in the case, snakes are different from other animals. If a mammal loses its head, it will die. However, snakes don't need so much energy to fuel their brain and can live for a few hours after they're decapitated. Luckily for the man, he was able to receive 26 antivenom doses, which technically was more than he needed. There's been several cases of dead snakes biting humans minutes or even hours after their death. Researchers say it's more of a reflex action on the snake's part, but from what we can tell, severing a snake's head doesn't exactly kill it. So, just a word of advice. They have infrared sensitive receptors. One fascinating aspect of snakes like pit vipers, pythons, and some boas is that they have infrared sensitive receptors found in their nose, their tails, and their eyes. This feature allows them to see the radiated heat of any potential warm blooded prey or even predator. These creatures possess a pit organ that can radiate heat at wavelengths between 5 and 30 micrometers. With it, they strike their prey accurately and with ease, even in the absence of light. They can also detect warm objects several meters away. Naturally, snakes are very sensitive to temperature, which is why they can easily detect the heat radiation their prey emits. In 2010, a study in Nature highlighted the molecular processes behind the night vision of snakes. After examining the nerve receptors of a rattlesnake, researchers were able to discover that these animals produce the same protein that detects chemical irritants in other animals. However, with the rattlesnakes, the receptors detect heat. Now it's time for the day's best pick. This very fact will not only come as a shocker, but it'll also probably heighten your phobia of these crawlies. Video cameras have recorded snakes flying. Snakes are one of the most feared creatures on the planet. They're known to be venomous and deadly, but what many don't know is that some snakes can fly, gliding over distances as great as 100 meters. After scientists studied about five species of snakes, they discovered and determined how the snakes could fly. They set up cameras to record these animals in flight and created a 3D reconstruction of their body positions. This study showed that snakes can travel up to 24 meters from a branch at the top of a 15-meter tower using constant velocity without dropping to the ground. In fact, they use the speed of freefall and their body contortions to catch the air and generate more lift. Here's how they do it. 
First, the snakes slither to the end of a branch before dangling in a J shape. Then they propel themselves from the branch with their lower bodies, quickly forming an S. They then flatten their bodies two times their normal width to form a C shape that helps them trap air. According to National Geographic, flying snakes are technically better gliders than flying squirrels. Though scientists don't know why flying snakes fly, it's likely that they use their aerobatics to escape predators. Flying snakes are often found in the Southeast and in South Asia. Some snakes have two heads. While many have an obvious phobia for snakes, knowing that a snake with two heads exists may pretty much be what breaks the camel's back. It's not actually out of place for snakes to have two heads. It's said that snakes have the highest occurrence of this condition called polycephaly. While this is a rare occurrence, snakes like this do actually exist. It occurs when there's an incomplete split of a snake embryo, meant to produce a separate snake, but ending up producing a snake with two heads. Each head has a brain of its own, and each brain can control its shared side of the body. Cool, right? Okay, maybe not. Since they're both in control, they usually have unusual body movements. As each head tries to control the body and go in its own direction, sometimes one snake head attacks the other when fighting over food. Understandably, these snakes don't survive long in the wild, but some have lived for long years in captivity. According to National Geographic, a two-headed corn snake known as Thelma and Louise lived for several years at the San Diego Zoo and had about 15 single-headed offspring. Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for you that'll take five seconds to complete. So here's the deal. He does leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button and hit the notification bell, and you will get 25 years of amazing luck. Try it, it really works. Some snakes fart to scare off their predators. If this doesn't shock you, then probably nothing will. While most snakes are known to produce venomous substances at sight or sense of a threat, there are certainly other species of snakes that would rather curl up and give off a loud fart to scare their predator. Located mostly in northwestern Mexico and the southwestern United States, this brightly colored snake is known as the Arizona Coral Snake. When startled, it hides its head under its body, raises, and tightly curls its tail. Once assuming the posture, it then farts noisily, emitting gas from its cloaca, releasing extremely unpleasant smells. The Arizona coral snake also possesses very potent venom, but over the years, there's been no record of fatalities from this creature. Technically, it's not as deadly as the rattlesnake. See you in the next episode.